Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Full Spectrum Survival. We got tagged by Hogtown Prepper for our three favorite bushcraft items. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give mine and then Mike's going to give his in a separate video reply because our favorite items vary just a little bit. Uh, when Hogtown tagged us, it really made me think because he didn't ask for your most versatile items. He didn't ask for the number one thing you would take out in the woods no matter what. He asked for your three favorite. And uh, that made me think, what do I take out in the woods with me? Um, and what do I get the most enjoyment out of? And number one is a gift that Mike gave me one year. It's this Kershaw hatchet. Really, this is a beautiful tool right here. Um, very lightweight, keeps an edge. I can bring an edge back with just a sanding puck or with a sharpening stone. I brought an edge back on a concrete cinder block. Really, anything will bring an edge back on this. It's very versatile, very lightweight. Um, I've really abused it. I have put it through the works, taking small to medium trees. It has a nice little head on it. Let me show you here. It has a nice little head so that I can still get in there and do some carving with. Uh, I can use it as my main knife uh, or my main carving tool. And uh, when I don't use this as a carving tool, this isn't my favorite, but it's definitely something I always have on me. It's the Buck Pack Light Skinner. Uh, it's $18 at Walmart. It's durably made. I have, throughout me and my family, we probably have a, a half dozen of them that we have just put through the works. Uh, if you're looking for a budget knife, this is number one the way to go. I have just a paracord um, handle on it. Beautiful knife, comes razor sharp, and you can bring it back to razor sharp with no problem. But not my favorite, but still something great to have. Uh, my, number, my number two favorite here is a stainless steel water bottle. Uh, I use them all day every day. This is my cup at home, not this one, but one of them. I have one in my backpack for work. Uh, that's my main drinking container throughout the day. I have them in my go bags. We take them out in the woods. They're just so versatile. Drinking out of stainless steel or glass is something that I believe in. Um, you can put this right on the fire, boil your water in it, make hot coffee, hot tea. Uh, if you want to keep a cool drink in it here in Florida, we're hotter than we're not for most of the year. Walmart sells this nice little coolie. Uh, it goes for around $3 and uh, we'll keep an ice drink cool for around five, six hours. Uh, definitely my number two here. We put it through the works a lot. You can put it right on the fire. I, I had this on the fire two hours ago. Took it home, cleans up very nicely. Um, Mike is a little bit more skilled in the engineering department than I am. And he said, hey, why don't we put some leader wire on them? So he put some uh, leader wire right here, crimped them right on the sides and these stainless steels have a nice little lip on them so no matter what that wire is going to catch it if you do a good job on crimping it. Um, so we put that right on the fire so that you can either hang it right over the top or you can put it right in next to the coals and take a stick and take it right off without putting gloves on without having to burn your hands or anything. Uh, makes it very useful. Now the last favorite that I have here is a notebook. It doesn't bring a lot of physical value uh, brings mental value, but not a lot of physical value in the woods. But this is something that has given me a lot of enjoyment throughout the years. We have notebooks with us all the time. Every experiment, every trial and error, everything that we do goes down in a notebook. Um, that way we can go back and say, oh yeah, I tried that, that didn't work so well. Or I haven't tried that, let me start it. Um, now Mike has used it against me a couple of times. You know, we're halfway through December here and I said, oh, it's hotter than it's ever been here before. And he said, oh, no, it's not. And he went and got his notebook to the same day last year, and it was actually a degree higher. So it uh, just shows you how often it can be used. It's great for the family and great for you to be able to go back to something that you did and relive that moment and enjoyment of it and say, oh, yeah, I've done that. That's, that was a great time. So a notebook is definitely a must for us. The wax cotton balls, the Altoid uh, kits, the uh, alcohol stoves, every experiment that we've done has went in here from making an alcohol stove all the way up to reloading you know whatever we do goes in a notebook so that we have something to go back to uh, if nothing else you're not going to make your mistakes twice because you'll see the ones that you already made so a notebook and pen or pencil is definitely a must um, well guys those are my three favorite items uh, i hope that you've enjoyed this i want to see what your favorite items are put the buck up there um, i'm going to tag lone woodpecker I'd like to see what your favorite items are and, uh, and what you carry in your pack. Um, 
As always, we enjoy all the comments. If you have a comment, please don't hesitate to put it down there or send us a private message. Uh, really, Your support really gives us the encouragement to continue making videos, and we thank you for that. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us. As always, we, uh, we enjoy making this video for you. We thank you for your support, and we, uh, we hope you guys get out in the woods with us soon.